Hey guys, today I want to talk about mechanical design and development. So developing a product can be really challenging. If you're watching this video, you've probably already gotten through the product development side. Now you're more wondering about mechanical engineering, trying to source mechanical engineers. So there's lots of things you want to take into consideration. First is how good is your design work? Your engineering is only going to be as good as your design. Your final product is only going to be as good as your engineering, right? So it's really important to go through the product development cycle with someone who really knows what they're doing that can basically take that napkin sketch that you have in your head, or maybe physically on a napkin in some cases, and turn it into an actual product. So they're going to sketch out your product. You can pick and choose features from each one of their sketches. And they're going to go out and do market research, try to figure out what niche your product can fill that someone else may not be. And this is how you're going to be able to create and conceptualize a really good product. Next, you're going to have to physically design it. So in this case, we had lots of mechanical design work done and mechanical engineering. So this product is called Velocity Clip, universal cell phone mount. It basically takes the smartphone that's in your pocket already and turns it into an action camera. So for us, it was really important that this guy have no parts on it that could fail and that your phone was going to be totally secure while it was inside the clip. So we wanted to make sure this guy was bulletproof because you're going to put your $700 cell phone in it and stick it on top of your motorcycle helmet and go 120 miles an hour down the freeway. So this guy is adjustable, so it fits any phone and any case on the market. So no matter what phone you have, this guy was going to work. And I'll show you here how it works. So you loosen the knob on the back, take your smartphone, stick it inside, squeeze down tight, tighten it up. Now there's overmolded rubber here and here that holds your phone in so that it's not going to slip out or fall out. Um, it also has a V-shape um, so that it sandwiches your phone and actually locks it in. So it's not going to come out forward or backwards. Next, you need to be able to adjust the angle because if you're using it on your chest, the angle is going to be very different than if you have it on your head, right? So you had to be able to adjust the angle. The angle also needed to have some gear teeth in it that lock so that your phone doesn't very slowly fade and lose the video quality um, like GoPro does. You know, if you hit big bumps with GoPro, the camera slowly falls down and you lose the angle of your shot. We also wanted to make sure it could clip in and out of all the different mounts that we make very easily. So we used a belt buckle style design, clips in and out of the adhesive mounts, the chest mounts, the head mounts, the bicano bar mounts, etc. So lots of mechanical design work went into this product and the mechanical designer that we used was Focus Product Design. They have a whole team of product design specialists, engineers, um, both mechanical, electrical, um, and they also do design work or uh, manufacturing. So they'll actually take your product overseas and have it manufactured and oversee it with American Oversight. So really cool product design firm, guys. They're located out in California in the heart of the Silicon Valley in Menlo Park. Um, I'll post a link to their website below this video. Go check them out, guys. Uh, focuspdm.com. Thanks for watching.